If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. QuickBooks Online Plus lets you enter, edit, and delete transactions in account registers for balance sheet accounts, accept accounts payable, accounts receivable, and some types of equity accounts. You must use the associated transaction forms to enter or edit transactions in these account registers. However, most other balance sheet accounts let you add, edit, and delete transactions in their registers. To view an account's register, click the Settings button in the QuickBooks Online toolbar. Then click the Chart of Accounts link under the Your Company heading to open the Chart of Accounts page. Then click the View Register link in the Action column for the account whose register you want to view if available. At the top of the Accounts Register page is a drop-down that contains all of your accounts. To quickly switch the account register, select a choice from this drop-down menu. The Account Register shows all the account's transactions. By default, these are sorted by date from newest to oldest. The columns shown in an account's register vary based on the type of account selected. To sort the transactions by the values in a column if possible, click the column heading label by which to sort the register's values. If you do not see a small arrow appear when you hover over the column heading's label, then you cannot sort by that column heading label's values. After clicking a column heading label, a small arrow next to the label in the heading indicates the direction of the sort, either ascending, pointing up, or descending, pointing down. You can click the same column heading label again to change the sort direction. Note that some account columns show two column label values by which you can sort, like the reference number type column, which you can sort by either value, like reference number or type, separately. To filter the account register to show only specific transactions, click the Filter drop-down button in the upper left corner of the transaction list to show a drop-down menu of filtering choices. Use the drop-downs and fields in this drop-down menu to select and or enter the values by which to filter the account register. For some filtering fields, you can also filter for values greater than or less than a value you specify by typing those symbols before your comparison value. To apply your filter after setting any filtering criteria, click the Apply button in this drop-down menu. To reset the values of the filters in this drop-down menu, click the Reset button in the drop-down menu. After applying filters to a register, the filters appear to the right of the Filter button. To remove an individual filter, click the X button to the right of the filter name. To remove all the filters, click the Clear Filter View All link that appears in this same area. In the upper right corner of the transaction list are three buttons for Print List, Export to Excel, and Settings. To open a printer-friendly list page and open your web browser's print dialog box to print the page, click the Print List button. You can close this page after printing it. To download the list as an Excel workbook, click the Export to Excel button. To show the list display options in a drop-down menu, click the Settings button. Under the Columns heading in the drop-down menu that appears, you can check or uncheck the names of the columns to show or hide them in the list. You can check the checkboxes under the Other section for Show in One Line, which shows each transaction on a single line, and Paper Ledger Mode, which shows transactions from oldest to newest and moves the Add Transaction Type drop-down link to the bottom of the register. Clicking the Rows drop-down in the drop-down menu lets you select the number of transaction rows to show per page in the list. To add a new transaction to the register, click the Add Transaction Type drop-down link or click the drop-down arrow next to the link at either the top or the bottom of the register depending on your choice in the settings drop-down. If you click the drop-down arrow, then select the type of transaction to create from the drop-down menu. A new transaction area then appears where you can enter the transaction details.
When finished, click the Save button in the lower right corner of the transaction area to save it and add it to the register. Alternatively, to cancel the transaction, click the Cancel button in the lower right corner of the transaction area. To edit or delete a transaction, click the Transaction to edit or delete in the account register to show the transaction's fields in the register. To edit it, change the values in the fields and click the Save button in the lower right corner of the transaction to save the changes. Alternatively, click the Edit button in the lower right corner of the transaction to open the associated transaction form where you can make your changes and then save them to edit the transaction. To delete the selected transaction, click the Delete button in the lower right corner of the transaction then confirm or cancel the deletion in the confirmation dialog box that appears. Be careful when deleting transactions from registers to ensure you do not create problems with past account reconciliations by accidentally deleting cleared transactions. To cancel the account editing or deleting, click the Cancel button in the lower right corner of the transaction. If the account has multiple pages of transactions, you can click the links in the Go To section at either the top or bottom of the page to scroll through the pages of transactions. The ending balance for the account also appears in the upper right corner of the register window. To reconcile an account from the account register, you can click the Reconcile button in the upper right corner of the register window to open the Start Reconciling window. Reconciling accounts is covered in a later lesson. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.